Hey everyone, it's Bubba again. I know I haven't been doing videos for a while, but uh, I'm coming at you guys today with a tutorial. Uh, I'm going to teach you today how to install uh, m somewhat most or almost any uh, DOS, like old Windows, like 95 and 98 DOS games onto Windows XP. Uh, the main uh, game I'll be using is Warcraft 2, which I've already installed. But I'll still be able to uh, like show you guys how it's done. All right, first, the way you're gonna have and be able to play the games, uh, the DOS games on your Windows XP nowadays, is to use an emulator, and that emulator is called DOSBox. I will put a link in the right of where this description is of where to get DOSBox. The, I'm pretty sure they probably haven't updated by now, but the latest version should be 0.73. Alright, let's get started. Uh, I'm pretty sure this will only work if you have the CD. I have Warcraft 2, the old game, because my dad had it, so I just like use the CD. Uh, you might be able to use an ISO if well, I don't even know if they have ISOs since it's a DOS game. And yes, that's my little brother in the background. Anyways, uh, there might not even be ISOs for like Warcraft 2. I don't even know. You might like be absolutely required to have the disc. But if you do have the disc, then you're in luck because you'll probably be able to, get to uh, play it again. Alright, first you want to open up DOSBox once you install it. Uh, it doesn't really matter if the disc is in right now. Actually, I don't even know if mine's in. Figure that out later. First, you want to type mount space C space capital C colon backslash DOS games. And I'm very sorry, but actually, before you do this, you need to go into where, like, your my computer, go into your C drive, and then create a new folder called DOS games in like all caps. And this is pretty much where all of your uh, MS-DOS games will be saved at. But after you create that folder, there should there'll be nothing in there, so don't even worry about that. But uh, yeah, then you go open up DOSBox and type in this. And once you have that, you hit enter, and it's mounted. Then you want to type mount space D space, and then the letter of your CD-ROM drive. Mine is E, so I'm going to type capital E, colon, backslash, and then space, T, or wait, space, uh, dash, sorry, T, space, CD-ROM, and give it a second, that, whatever that is, installed, and uh, drive D is mounted. Alright, next. Uh, if you now you should put in the Warcraft 2 CD, pretty sure, and you type whatever the letter is of your drive, E for your CD-ROM drive, E and then colon, and then hit enter. Uh, e does not exist. Capital D colon. Ah. Uh, once you're in D, uh, in all caps, type setup and. This should pop up. Uh, Warcraft 2 installation. I already have Warcraft 2 installed, so I'm going to trust you guys that you'll be able to read and uh, install Warcraft 2 by yourselves. There, the only thing you need to like worry about is once you once it asks you like what uh, sound card to use for the m music, and I think j just general sound. I don't know. There's two places where you like choose your options for like the sound drive. Make sure you pick Sound Blaster 16 and your sound will work perfectly. Uh, once you're installed, uh, you the game will be installed and then it'll bring you back to DOSBox and it'll just want you to type uh, War 2 to start it up. But you can either do that or you can get this uh, fancy icon that I have. Uh, when you start with this, you want to. Uh, we'll do the other thing first. In 
the DOSBox point seven three. Uh, there is a con like a configuration file file for it, and you need to go into all programs, open up DOSBox, and right here will be configuration. Then there's edit configuration. You want to open that. You want to copy all of this. Copy and make a new file. Paste. And you want to name this. Actually, I already have these. One of these. Uh, going. Eventually, like you're gonna copy this and edit it a little bit, and then put it in your Warcraft 2 or your War 2 folder in DOS games. Uh, I should have mine. <laughs> yeah. And once you, after you edit it, you're gonna save it as DOSBox dot config or it's, con it's configuration, but you just type uh, C O N F. I had to go into tools and go to folder options and go to what was oh it was view. I had to go into view and I had to enable uh or I had to uncheck, I'm sorry, the hide extensions for known file types. Then when I saved it I just typed dosbox dot C O N F and that saved it. Uh the editing you'll be doing in here is at the very bottom you'll be adding this is what yours w looks like and I'm going to show you what it should look like alright so you scroll all the way down to the bottom do the first thing where it says auto execute right below that just one line you type mount D space the uh, letter of your drive your CD-ROM drive colon backslash space dash t space cd-rom once you've done that you need to scroll up to where it says cycles uh, I'm not really sure I think it's towards the top yep right here uh, yours will say cycles equals auto I'm pretty sure mine is 20,000 I said it at the this runs how fast like the game runs I believe I played without this, without doing this, and like you scroll when you scroll across the map in Warcraft 2, it's just unbelievably fast. So you want to type cycles, or you already have cycles typed. Just change the auto to 20,000, and then nothing else. Uh, save it as dosbox.conf. It'll be like you are saving this file. You won't be able to edit it maybe after this, and then you just click OK, and then it'll look like that icon. Uh, what else? Oh, once you have that in there, you're going to copy the the startup icon for DOSBox. You're going to copy it and you'll paste it, and it will it'll be just a copy of that. You want to right click that, click properties. Mine's already done, so it looks like Warcraft 2. But right here where it says target, you want to make the whole entire target box what this line is. I would rather not uh, say it because you guys can pause the video and read it. But you type out this whole thing, even the quotation marks and like this whole thing. Uh, I don't really think spaces are really necessary, but like between like this parenthesis and this like dash, uh, I just put a space and mine worked. So you want to type this whole thing into target the little target box and then you want to go to click change icon uh, it should load up or you might need I don't remember but you might need to browse for your war 2 folder in DOS games in your C drive and you'll find uh, this icon and you just or it'll you'll automatically see it once you get to the war 2 folder uh, it's a DLL file but once you find it just click OK and there you have it. Uh, Warcraft 2 is installed. Uh, once you double click it, it automatically runs it so you don't need to type anything crazy into DOSBox. Uh, that concludes my video. Sadly, Camtasia won't keep working as I open Warcraft 2. But uh, you have my word, it will work. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you install some awesome DOS games.